the record is straight. Listen, I started my business in 1996-97. At that time, John Mahama was now thinking of, he even didn't think, was now thinking of becoming, uh, he used to work in Plan International then when I started my business. And he was now thinking of doing, becoming an MP. And he picked up the form and became an MP. So I was who I was. And a lot more, a lot more of the MPP even know this. But the ones who, wants to, who want to create mischief are the ones who throw it in there. I became successful much more in Kufour's time because I had nobody hanging around my neck. I rather regressed when my brother became vice president and thinking that's why I keep wanting that that one was to do politics. <laughs> it became a problem for me even in my in my in my business. Where even I thought they would be nice to me, they were worse to me. Today MPP is in power. I likely won't get favors. But I'm even doing better than I was doing when my brother was president. Because you can't come to me and come in with that foolish talk, oh, this that I'm not interested. My well-being is to make sure that Ghanaians succeed. Just about two weeks ago, we've been I've employed at least about three thousand Ghanaians to work for me. I'm more of a problem solver. I don't need any award from any government institutions. I pay more tax than any Ghanaian in this country. Yet those who don't pay tax would insult me as if they contribute to this country. I don't do government jobs to take money from government. If there's any job that I would do for government, that is a job that has been difficult for any contractor to do. That's what I'll do. But currently, I have created at least 5,000 tables for people to eat. And I want somebody to do better than me. And that's what's our goal as a country. The, politi the political seasons will come. 2016 came. 2020 will come. 2024 will come. 2028 will come. Does that mean that we shouldn't work? I'm asking, does that mean we shouldn't focus and work? So let the politicians do their politics and let's do our business. Okay? But I want to set the record straight that I was who I was. I was successful. That's why I can chop my money without looking back and thinking that Amidu is coming to call me. And that's the confidence I do have. I don't go any place fearing my shadow, running away from my shadow. So, gentlemen, when I started business, John Mahama hadn't even picked up his uh, forms to become an to do is to focus and start your own business. Starting your own business don't need you don't need a million dollars to start. I started with ten thousand dollars. For what? I was going to do yours would not be even five thousand dollars and if we all begin and support this course of helping students even if it's 20 and that 20 can help another 20 and that 20 can help another 20 or 50 Ghana will be a better place but we churn out a lot of graduates and what happens is that they have no direction. They are looking for jobs in government. But government also can't employ everybody. So what we need to do is, there's so much other students who didn't come to university. And they can be good artisans for us to create wealth with them and share with them. And I feel that's what we need to be leaders as we leave the university to manage such 
or go back into our communities and begin to look for a lot of the unemployed for us to be able to have a certain direction. Agriculture is key, but everybody feels that doing agriculture is a laborious job. It's not. You need to put your cost build up together. You need to learn certain things. Ghanaians, we never are so technical to know what our cost is. We should be able to rent a tractor to plow an acre and then say, if we plant an acre, how many tons of produce would we harvest? And how many, how much would that sell on the market? Be it high season or low season, use the low season price and we'll get a return. But unfortunately, we all want the office jobs. But I can tell you this for nothing, that the office jobs don't pay like the field jobs. The office jobs is a glorified job where you wear tie, coat, go and sit down, you'll be sweating, but you're still wearing it. And you can see my dressing. I've not even tucked it in because I have nothing to present to anybody. I am who I am. Take me for what I am. If not, move on. Let's, you know. So that's the attitude you should have. Another thing is focus. When you finish, you say, oh, let's go and have fun. Let's do and do this. But remember, your turning point in life is 25, 26. If you don't put that focus together, you might lose it. And what you have learned here, we haven't learned it. But what we are applying there is just common sense. In every business, it's common sense. Look at the risk factor. Look and see either you're throwing good money to bad money. I have $10,000. What do I do with it? If I put it in this business, can I turn 50000 Yes. It likely will come this week. Likely two months. But... The typical of it is that somebody will say, oh, let me go and buy a, build a house when you are building a business. If you begin, most of the money you need to use to build a company is building a house that if you rent, you even cover the cost of your capital. But unfortunately, our local content laws don't work. If they did, so many Ghanaians would be in business. Today, I'll give you the example. We as Ghanaians always complain that foreigners have come to take our business. But we make them take our business. Let any of you try and start a business competing with a foreigner. Your own Ghanaians will bring you down. Your own Ghanaians will bring you down. I'm saying this with, with some experience. We've, we have, in this country always castigated to say that no Ghanaian has been in the business of building a cement plant. Yet both NDC and MPP are guilty of that crime. When we go out there and try and put our country forward, because of politics, we we'll bring the Ghanaian down. But time, 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 all of you here have a destiny. And your destinies are bright. You can do better than you are even dreaming of doing. But we limit our Ghanaians and we push our foreigners. So what hope do we have? But the one I'll say to you to console yourselves is what you've learned in this school will help you. But nonetheless, keep assessing focus. And stay away from the politician. Stay away. I'm saying this from my in gut feeling. Stay away from the politician. Ghana is so big, even if you catch fish, you sell. Even if you throw corn on the street, it will grow. If you go and you start palm plantation, you will be successful. But we limit ourselves to feel that we need to go and work for government. You don't need to work for government. Or when I finish school, I want to go and work for SNIT. When I finish school, I want to go to the police. When I finish school, I want to go to the customs. 
because my father has a customs friend who is making money. Those are all the defeatist entry points. Try and be your own boss. Keep a certain demeanor. Make friends out there. Certain things your lecturers won't teach you. Your lecturer won't teach you to be nice to somebody. He likely will teach you, but it is you, your attitude. Oh, media mini will be on oh, I don't like friends, I keep to myself and stuff. No. Try and share your ideas with others. Don't think they'll steal it. If it were easy, you would have been doing it. Let them give you the pitfalls or, and, see, and let you know whether, and he might likely have an experience that he will share with you. I want to sell mango. Oh, Kweku sold mango. The mangoes got rotten after five days. So he lost money. You learn from that mistake. I'm a sold guy. Unfortunately, the guy was ABC. You learn from that. But you never put your plans together. If that plan was easy, somebody would be doing it. In this country, you ask yourself, Coco Board, we, employ, we import at least about $40 million worth of jute sacks. I'll give you just small, small, small street cents. We import about $40 million worth of jute sacks. Maybe more. Where is the jute grown? When you travel from here to Aflao, you notice there's a plain. Nothing grows there. These are research you can do. Where do we import the jute bags from? We import them from Bangladesh. So I want any of you to finish here and come and tell me, Mr. Mahama, I want to go to Bangladesh and go and learn how they do the jute bags, how they plant the jute uh, what they call it, grass, how they harvest it. In this country, we have a lot of rivers. Some of you should go to, is it Thailand, and learn how they do fish caging. You put cage, cages in the river, run the river, you buy seedling, uh, what they call it, uh, fingerlings, you put it in there. If you go to the village, if any of you come from, let's say, along the Volta, and say, I want to learn this, and go back home. If you come from Keta, uh, Sugakope, and then get all these fishermen. And say, we don't need to go far and catch the fish anymore. We can grow the fish here and sell the fish here. These are things that we can do. A lot of our, sh our, lead our, women uh, our mothers and sisters up north are doing share, share butter. How can we add value to it? When we go on excursions, we don't ask questions. We just come back and say, oh, Miso Makolon Donibiaba. But when you go, go to go and learn anything on the job that your country produces more of that. And come and look for the youth who are not. All we do is find youth and go and make noise with them. No, 